Hey there folks, Ugly Mug with you once again. Today I'm here to continue the previous video I did on the mods that I had coming. And if you remember, I specifically talked about the brakes at which I received one of my brake pads for the front that wasn't measured right or wasn't uh, machined right and it was a little bit too long, I couldn't get it into place. So lo and behold, Paragon, you know, with the great customer service that they have, they sent me a new set of front brakes and they sent it to me so that I can go ahead and uh, take out the proper sized front pad to go ahead and put it on the car and that problem would be resolved and then I could take the bad one which is this one and uh, return it with the rest of them and they gave me a prepaid label so that I wouldn't have to pay for the uh, for the shipping cost which is really nice of them so with that I've got the I've got the brakes right here I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and what I'm gonna do for you today is I'm gonna go ahead and compare it to the replacement so that we can see uh, how it was longer than uh, than it should have been so this may take a minute they've got this wrapped up pretty good all right so of course we got four pads and I'm only gonna need one so I'm gonna take a quick look myself and see how it looks. It looks pretty darn close. But this one here is the old one. Let's see. And I know you can't tell on camera, but it is longer. If I can try to stick it on a flat surface, if I can stick it on a flat surface and then we zoom in. Again, this is the one that was machined too long and I'm putting them down against one of the other pads so you can see the top. This one, I can tell from where I'm sitting, it is visibly longer and I can feel it as well. Let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look. Once I go ahead and do the install of this one, we should have no problem because right now I still have the old stock brake pad on my front left wheel that's complementing the, the ceramic, you know, from, from the original set. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And once we're complete, we should be in good shape. But that's not really the main reason I'm here today. After we get that done, we're gonna talk about the exhaust system from Paragon Performance that I had installed. And uh, we're gonna share with you my experience in having that done. So stay tuned after we give you a little bit of coverage on the brake pad replacement. Okay, I'm out of the car. And I've already uh, set the parking brake and blocked the wheels. So I'm about to jack it up and remove the front left wheel so I can take care of this uh, brake pad. Set the wheel aside. Now I've got to go ahead and turn the wheel. Okay, now that I've got the wheel turned, I've got to get my breaker wrench and remove the 19 inch bolts to remove the caliper. I mean, you can't see them from there, but take my word for it, they're there. So once I got it loose, I'm going to go ahead and use the ratchet to get him off the rest of the way. Another hack here. Got this bag of mulch. That's a nice place to put the caliper once I remove it. That way I don't have to put it in the concrete. So now when I remove this, I need to make sure I don't put too much tension on the brake line. 
keep it at a location where the brake line isn't being stretched. Here's the original stock pad. You can see how it was glued to the back here. You can tell by the arrow also it tells you it's the old one. The stock. Okay. And this is the new one, and it should go in fairly easily once I grease it. You don't really need too much enough to cover that surface where the movement's going to occur. Okay, that's all you need. Sparingly, but not too much. against the tension of this springs. Okay, that's in. A hundred times easier than that first one that was too long. So now it's just really a matter of putting it back in place, putting it back on. We get this first one started. I'm not really gonna put it on yet, because I am gonna put some Loctite on this just a little bit. That's all we need. I can put that hand tight as best I can. Then we'll take this other one back out and put some on it. Very little. Spexy to torque into hundred and sixty foot pounds. I'm just going to do them hand tight first, and then with the torque wrench, get my 19 millimeter socket. I believe it's already set. It might have been set to 140 for the wheels, so I'm going to reset it to 160. Sixty there, okay, and then the other. so I can put the tire back on. We're almost there. Get that away. Now this impact wrench is not set to the full tightness. It's just enough to get them on. Come down when I put it on the ground. I've torqued my torque wrench to 140 foot pounds. So that's it. Changing out that one incorrectly sized brake pad. I'm actually just changing out the stock for the correctly sized ceramic brake pad. And that's really all that there is to it. I know you didn't get the best view 
but I just wanted you to kind of just see me go through the process of getting it done, just to get an idea how easy it is. So as you can see, the brake install went smoothly and everything seemed to have gone into place quite nicely. And um, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go ahead and send the remaining pads over back to Paragon and uh, everything should be square. So let's talk about the install of the exhaust system, the Paragon Track Edition. We're going to take it over to Corvette Masters and have them uh, do the work. They stated they should be able to do it in one day. I'm really excited about getting this. I'm so anxious to hear what this is going to sound like because I have not heard this system on a C8 in person. I've seen it in video, but of course, as we all know, the sound that you get in video cannot be, cannot be reproduced accurately in order for us to really appreciate the, uh, the quality and the volume of the sound that we get. There's one side of me that's hoping it's not going to be too loud to the point where it annoys everyone around them, including myself. And uh, there's another side of me that, that hopes it is loud, but you know, I'm, I'm really going to keep a closer eye on the, the sound level that it produces. And then from there, I'll determine uh, if a track edition is for me. I anticipate it will be. Let's make our way out there. Okay, we're on our way to the uh, garage. We're actually on our way to Corvette Masters to go ahead and uh, pick up my car. It might still be in progress, which I kind of hope it is, so we can kind of see some of the work being done. But there's another side of me that hopes that it's complete so I can get it done and get out of there and hear it. So, um, like I said, I'm on my way to Maitland. I got my buddy Nick who's taking me out there. What's up, guys? And uh, we should be there uh, shortly. And uh, once we get there, I'll have some more for you. Okay, we are here and it looks like they're well underway. It looks like they got the old exhaust out because there it is on the ground. And here's my car, they got, they got it in and they got it in place. Look at that. There's my man George over there in the background taking care of business. And uh, I haven't even greeted them yet, so uh, I've not greeted them yet, so uh, let me go ahead and do that. And there's the old stock exhaust system, that big old suitcase. Now you can see the motors that are still on there, the hardware for the valves. See that here? Now in case that I'm not satisfied with the volume of my uh, track exhaust and decide I wanted to go with a, uh, with a touring exhaust system, I'm going to be keeping this system here and taking it home. And if I decide to do that, I'll go ahead and take these motors so that they can be transferred to a new system. I don't expect to have to do that, but you never know. But there's that old, there's that old system there. I believe I'm going to save about 27 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around there in, in car weight, which is going to be kind of nice. So, uh, so my car's going to be a little bit lighter along with a whole lot louder. Okay, where it turns out that there was a, a, a screw in my right rear tire. So they've taken that over to the tire shop and they're in the process of getting that repaired. Once they get that back, we should be complete. They've got the system in here. It looks kind of nice. There's our Paragon logo there. Uh, check out those tips. They're a little bit dusty right now, but that's okay. What do you think about that? Boy, ugly mug's gonna be profiling, ain't he? So, uh, we have not heard a cold start yet. George, the uh, mechanic, has not uh, done a cold start, so we'll be here to witness it. You can also check out, if you look at the background, from the tips, you've got that, that black. Uh, I kind of called it in a previous video a heat shield. I really think it's just there for aesthetics, but it's got that black background that blends in with the black tips. So it gives you a nice look. So as we step back, you can kind of see that there. You don't see that foil look behind the tips. You know, it's got that black background there. It looks really cool now. It's really good. And uh, as you can see, that white tire is not in place. But as soon as they get that back, you know, we should be ready to roll. And then I'll take it home and uh, clean it up a little bit. And I'm going to put it on the road. 
so it's going to be interesting driving home with a really really loud C8. I'm really anxious to see how how loud it really is. I've not had a chance to really get a live demo up front, so this is going to be new to me as well. Okay guys, we are all done. We're gonna go ahead and make our way back home. System's all complete. And I'm looking forward to this drive. This is gonna be good. You know what? I think I'm gonna take the top off. Give me a moment. Fast forward, I'm back home. So how do you like that? The exhaust install is complete. And man, does that thing sound really good, man. I mean, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't be happier with the way it sounds. The volume is just right. The tone, the, uh, the bass that it produces is exactly what I was hoping for. And uh, again, like I said, I couldn't be happier. Also, you know, I attended a party the other night and I had a few of the guys check it out. And uh, so I took the opportunity of starting it up and revving it a few times and they absolutely loved it. I'm talking about the, uh, the Corvette club that I'm a part of, the Aces. And some of the guys, man, they were out there at the party and man, they absolutely loved it. There's another guy in the group that has a C8 and I'm pretty sure after hearing it, I think he's gonna be getting a Paragon track exhaust for his C8. And I'm really happy to hear that because I really felt like I made a good selection. I couldn't have made a better choice. The overall quality of the build for this particular exhaust system is, in my opinion, off the charts. The wells are clean. As you can see in the pictures, the wells are really, really clean. And uh, you didn't get a whole lot of blackening around those wells, which is an indication of there wasn't any more heating than necessary in order to get those wells completed. And then on top of that, there were only uh, three pieces. And you had two V-clamps that connected the three. You know, once you uh, uh, bolted it uh, to the car itself, and uh, like I said, three pieces, two V-clamps, and, and that was it. So it, it was uh, a lot of simplicity, yet awesome quality, a great look. The tips got a lot of positive feedback on the tips. There's just nothing about this exhaust system that I don't like. And uh, so maybe you can share with me your experience by leaving a comment. You know, let me know what you think as far as uh, that exhaust is concerned. Have you heard one in person? Now, obviously, I can't demonstrate to you what it really sounds like, you know, to be in front of it, witnessing it firsthand. But maybe you have, you know, maybe you have a, a similar system, which I don't believe will compare. But if you have a Paragon track exhaust in your C8, let me know how you feel about it. If you're in the market for one, I highly recommend you go, you go with this one. And uh, I know there are many choices we have to choose from. And like I mentioned earlier, I felt like I made the right choice with going, uh, with, going with Paragon. So... Check them out. I'll give you their website. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check them out. Their customer service is absolutely great. You know, they, they took care of me, uh, you know, in a break situation. And then also, just to give you an idea, when I ordered my exhaust, originally I ordered, a, I ordered an exhaust system from another company. I actually put my order in on Thanksgiving morning. And then I followed up on the following Monday just to kind of, you know, just talk to them and communicate with them to get an idea of what I should be expecting. And they mentioned to me that it was going to be 13 weeks before I got it. So that would put me probably into March. And I really wasn't too thrilled about that. You know, I understand that there's demand and all that sort of thing, but uh, I don't believe it was a custom made uh, exhaust system. I mean, you know, it's, it's for the C8. And I understand there are other choices, you know, there are track exhausts and then there are touring exhausts. 
But anyway, the 13 week interval wasn't really uh, that favorable to me. So I basically spent the next 24 hours thinking about whether I really wanted to wait that long. So I finally decided the next day, which was Tuesday, I decided to go ahead and cancel my order. And that's when I put in my order with Paragon. And when I put my order in on that Tuesday morning, my online order, would you believe that three days later, that Friday morning or Friday afternoon, that exhaust system was on my doorstep. So not only is Paragon very responsive with their customer service, they're fast. It was nice to know that they had this particular system in inventory. And not only that, they shipped it immediately. I mean, it was, uh, it was here in no time, which allowed me to go ahead and get that process moving. You know, it took me uh, from the time I actually received it to the time I got it installed was a two-week period, but you know, I spent the first week trying to find someone who would actually get it installed for me fairly soon, and that's how I got in touch with with uh, Corvette Masters from one of the guys in my Corvette club, and thank you for that as well. So here we are, you know, to this to this uh, week, two weeks later, it's all in place. Again, I really love the sound, and I highly recommend it uh, for you if you're in a market for an exhaust system. Granted, it's a track edition, so I don't have the valve control or anything like that. I've heard a whole lot about the droning and that sort of thing. I've heard about people that have had this system, and they heard a lot of droning, and uh, you know it was uh, unbearable and that sort of thing. Uh, my experiences are nothing like that. I mean, it's uh, everything's been positive. I heard nothing that's overbearing. I've seen it go into a four-cylinder mode. It wasn't a problem. I didn't uh, have any problem with whatever I was hearing. Uh, one of the great benefits was, you know, when I was when I would uh, when I drive it in automatic and I had to do a, uh, an aggressive, I guess, if you will, an aggressive deceleration. Not necessarily with a lot of braking, but just just decelerating from like 70 or 80 miles an hour down to a stop. The downshifts were far more evident. They were far far more louder. And uh, the sound of that was really, really cool because, you know, with the old original stock system, you could barely hear the downships, but this time they're really evident. You can hear them a mile away and they're really aggressive. And that's the downshifts. So you can imagine what the upshifts are like, you know, in, in automatic mode. And then of course in manual mode when you're using the paddle shifts. I mean, again, there's just nothing negative about this system in the C8 at all. And like I said, I could not be more pleased so with that, this is that time of the video. Hit like if you like my content. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And like I mentioned earlier, earlier leave a comment and hit the bell so that uh, you can be notified every time I drop a video. So with that, this is Ugly Mug signing out. And I look forward to seeing you really, really soon.